Hello guys. Today I wanted to talk with you about Medvedev and and Djokovic, the two tennis players who are considered two of the best tennis players playing today, and how tennis now seems to be at the forefront of many major issues involving government, social policy, and has become targets of immense public discourse. Most recently, Medvedev, but uh, uh, just a month or two ago, it was Djokovic. So, most recently, so let me go back to Djokovic. So he was anti-vac. He was he was uh, he didn't want to get the vaccine. I don't know if that makes him anti-vaccine. It just means that he he didn't want to get it. Um, and I guess it's at least the anti-mandate. Maybe it's anti-vax. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter. But but so he didn't want to get the vaccine, and that prevented him from playing in Canada or no Australia. I think it was Australians wouldn't let him play because even though he had just he had recently had COVID, and it, and studies have proven that 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 works even more effectively potentially than than the vaccine, right? That, that natural immunity works really well. Studies are finding, but he wasn't allowed to play. So that became a, that became a political issue. And, and then now it's, it's Medvedev who, the Wimbledon, the organization, the event, they're, they, they're demanding that Medvedev criticize Putin publicly, make some kind of statement against him, denounce him somehow. And, and and put his life at risk um, after everything that Putin's been proven to be willing to do and to any dissenting voices. So so why has tennis gotten, I mean, how has tennis gotten here to where it's at the center of these tense political issues or is everything now becoming politicized? I mean, I mean it's, it certainly seems that way, but I, I do wonder why. Well, it, it, it's just it's just that it's amazing that this organ that tennis as an organization would rather so they are willing to take major moral stances, even even what seems nonsensical nonsensical moral stances, in order to they're willing to they and, and to do that they're willing to sacrifice. They're they're willing to sacrifice their um, own ratings, their own ability to 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 make better tennis. I mean, you would you would want as an organization to have you would want as a tennis organization you would want to produce the best possible tennis to be watched. I mean, the best the best tennis to be played. You would want to facilitate that. You wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want to ban or threaten to ban two of your top players in the whole league. I mean, who were literally number one at times. I mean, each of them like it. It's absurd for the sport. And what is this? What is any? What is any organized sport today, other than the in uh, in part of the content which is funneled to us from a media distributor? So, sports. I mean, the fact of the matter is, we wouldn't. I wouldn't be talking to you about Medvedev or, or Djokovic or tennis at all. I don't even really. I'm not even really a tennis fan. I wouldn't be talking to you about it if it weren't for what its implications are, or how how much the sport had would had to have grown by becoming a market a marketable thing, like something that can be watched on TV. I mean, it be, it it gets broadcasted to the world for millions to see. And it becomes a tool for advertising, as any TV show or anything broadcast, anything shown on TV which has commercials. Those commercials and the companies who pay for them to be aired on on, on network, they own. I mean, they be, they dictate it, it, to an eventually. I mean, to an extent, they dictate the policy and, and, and the window of conversation that that network is allowed to have because if if that network airs something or or does something that is controversial, they, they have money can be pulled immediately. But uh, but anyway, so so I don't understand 
why they're doing. I don't understand why they're doing this, but it can't. It can't help with ratings either because it's it's a divisive. It's a divisive topic. I mean, vaccines are divisive now. Uh, I mean, it will not even. I would understand that they required him to be vaccinated or tested, or vaccinated and proven that he had natural immunity. But they, they, but, but he was willing to test, and he was willing to prove that he had immunity from from natural immunity. But they refused acceptance. So. These pop, what their stances seem quite unreasonable. It's the same thing with Medvedev, because what they're asking to do is risk his life in order to play tennis. And it's not just his life, his family's lives. And not even a small risk, a, a, a big risk, a likely risk. So it's unreasonable, and, and, and it, just, it just shows that I mean, it just so shows that we're obviously in some kind of politicized era where, where you have to take moral stances on issues that don't require it. You know, that everything has to be politicized and dramatized. And uh, I don't even watch tennis, and I think it's unfortunate that tennis is being dampened down by politics. But uh, what do I know? I'm. I'm just a football fan.